Now then, as an introvert myself, today's video is going to probably make me want to cry on the inside. We have an introverted man trying to speed date 20 girls. I could not think of anything worse. <clears throat> God. Oh, this is, just, this is just a disaster for me. Well, it would be anyway. Look how nervous he is. Oh my God. This is me. It's almost as if... A teenager? 19? I thought it was like going to be 20 something. It's almost as if it's only about you. Just teenagers, right? They don't have to worry about anything else. They don't have to worry about no bills. And then at the same time, we have things like parents involved. There's school going on still. So it's like interesting. Do you know, for a split second then, for a split second, I just thought they were all posting to their own social media. But like, what the hell? Who are all of these fucking like Insta whores? Like, what the hell is this? But no, they're, they're sending photos to him. Also makes no sense though. He can see them all. He can see, he's, he's sat down with them all. <laughs> if anyone is not interested on going on a date with Damon, please leave the circle. I mean, I mean, I feel like that's just being nice, isn't it? I don't know if they're just being nice about that. I, that's the kind of, this, I had hate this scenario. I would hate this scenario. I know though, that not everybody's gonna like you, but the thought of like, just asking that question and then seeing um, like 90% of people leave, or even imagine if all people left, I would want to die. I'd want to die. So as for physical attributes, I usually, you know, prefer someone that is shorter than me. But uh, I'm 5'9". I'm if I strap on some basketball shoes, maybe I'm 5'10". <laughs> In terms of like their, their build and whatnot, I don't have too much of a preference. So much so that they're okay with my build, I guess you could say. I'm, I'm, I, I can't read this fast enough. <laughs> My brain can't process what's going on. Futures now, old man. Taekwondo in the gym is not for me. I'm more of a slow, drug, fast kind of person. Sunset hikes, LMAO, don't even stress so half the cardio we're doing. It's laps to the fridge. Okay. I do prefer girls that are under five, six. Oh. Come on, come on! No, I, I detest, detest anybody that's like, oh, I'm sorry if you're under this height or if you're over that height. Uh, no thanks. It's like girls that would put a Tinder bio like, if you're not above six foot, don't swipe right. Oh. Fuck off. He was doing all right up until this point. Okay. Now I'm silently judging him. I'm sorry. I've been with about three people, was in high school and um, very unpredictable as uh, many high school relationships are. Uh, three previous relationships all have been in either high school or middle school. Yeah, that's because you're like still 12 years old. Everybody has things to learn from their first relationship. The fact of the matter is that people's first ones aren't always the <laughs> best. Look at them all furious typing. Just rather not be that first one. Really? He's only 19 though. Like if those are all a similar age, it's very likely that there's gonna be people that haven't been in a relationship yet. Oh my god. Some people's my I don't they're 19 dude like that's not that's not old at all that is very young people There's a very high chance that those those people are still in education So like they could be fully focused on that which actually is more the commendable thing to do rather than just like go around fucking about So I get where he's coming from in the sense of like he wants someone that's already been in one so that They are obviously have learnt lessons and things through that what to and not do but you'll forever be learning Like if you be if you've been in like 10 or 20 I'm sure you'll fuck up in every single one of those in some way, shape, or form and learn from them. So I'd have listen. 
Veteran wise old man Mike doesn't agree with this dude's uh, thought process behind this, but sure, pop off sis. More often than not, I find that like my like social battery sort of like runs out faster than most people. Uh, but I, I still like to go out and like be with people, be around people, spend time. You lost me there. You lost me. Go out. Go. What's that? That sounds like a terrible time. Uh. Someone's talking about someone's socks being cute. Uh, how would you describe yourselves? I, I'd say I'm slightly more introverted than I am extroverted. But don't get it twisted. I like to have myself some fun too sometimes. Definitely introverted, but extroverted. Ah, ah, ah. Sometimes I can Depends be a little on bit. I'm around. Well, I'm I get too to comfortable that because... with, with not exploring and then not seeing new things. And um, sometimes it'd be nice to have somebody that can, you know, drag me out to things or like convince me to, to, to try something new. For sure, uh, it's always about the people you're around. Yeah, little hogs get and a dash of sweet. I'm outgoing, so if you're a little shy, then I've got you. Normalize being an extroverted homebody, period. I'd say I'm pretty funny and typically very confident. Oh my God, this is so much to keep up with. Uh, quarantine is chef's kiss. It could be us time. Oh, hell yeah. Go and get some sex time. So I'd like someone more extroverted than I am. So if you're not expert, please do the circle. I don't understand that this whole process. Like, I think, like, I would equally get along with an introvert more in the sense of, like, you'd be able to understand each other and why you don't want to go out constantly to social events. Like, I don't... I get why he'd want an extrovert to slightly pull him out, but then there might be that clash where, like, he wants to stay in all the time and she wants to go, I don't know. If you had a deal breaker in terms of love languages, what love language are you not looking for? I think definitely, uh, like, receiving gifts and then any, anything around the, the idea of, like, materialism, right? Because I feel like it says a lot about a person and, and what exactly they value. Getting gifts and receiving gifts and giving gifts is, like, what they're striving for in life. I think it says a lot. Yeah, that's just boring. That's just, I, if you're just after materialistic things, then you can fuck the right off. I don't know how that's even people like that exist. Uh, love language, I'd have to say, is quality time. I value that how this person, person, how about you? Me too. Okay. Uh, I haven't taken a test in a bit. Mine is quality time too. I'm also a big... Of a love language giving, I like to give to Lol, let me spoil you. Oh, okay, that's okay though. So giving gifts is fine. Words can hold a lot of weight sometimes, and people uh, love paying for you know, dinner need the or random gifts. They need another form know, of something. affirming messages. Uh, baking, making things. I want to be baked cakes, please. Uh, another form of appreciation. Uh, I would say I'm probably mixed with gifts and quality time. If your top love language is giving or receiving gifts, I think giving gifts is fine though. It's not like you're forever trying to buy their appreciation. You're just buying them. Oh. I don't know why that's a deal breaker in the sense of like, if somebody likes to treat you, like, that's fine. Like, not if it's the buying your gifts when they fuck up to hopefully, like, make you stick around longer, then yeah, fair. They've got a point. That's that's a, that's a, a dodgy area. But, like, <laughs> I would want to be bought stuff randomly. Like, not not that I like it makes it, it it's just nice isn't it it's not, it's not like like it's the deal breaker or anything it's just uh it's just nice to be thought of I mean it doesn't have to be like massive things it, it, you can just be like I bought you this packet of sweets because I know it they're your favorite uh hi. Hi. Should, should we should we should we stand up yeah 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 how's this all for you guys I'm kind of scary a little bit yeah you're telling me yeah. you're telling me yeah was there anyone that left that you actually liked the way they Mm -hmm. uh, Alyssa. She was, I, I thought she was really funny. She did get um, cut out on the last one about love languages. I think she was the one that like would bake and stuff like that. And I thought that was really nice of her. I got the wrong person! Absolute legend! Do you think that the way that someone talks through text can still like reveal a lot about their personality? There are a lot of, you know, um, shallow people, I guess you could say, right? That will uh, immediately judge you just from your appearance. Um, I guess through text, you really do get to see people for who they are. And again, yep. you never know. Some people really do filter themselves when it comes to texting, or they have a different, almost personality sometimes when they're texting in comparison to like being in person. You guys um, go to school or you work? Yeah, I go to school. What kind of ending is that? If it's just 
he's got four potential matches. Did anything happen? Nobody will know. You can paint your own picture on that. I agree in the sense of like, there's so many people as well that can just like be such like, just rude over text. Like again, he's saying that judging purely based on like looks of somebody. Like some, you could get on with somebody like, you could vibe so well with them through like text, but the second they see what you look like, and they must obviously just like, some people are that shallow, they'll judge you and go, no, I'm not associating myself with that person, that person's ugly. Anyways, I shall end that though there. If you did enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below, it's free. Let me know what you thought of this, and uh, I shall see you. I mean, this would be a terrible scenario, for this is like absolute worst case scenario, but it is what it is, that's what you get for being an introvert. Anyways, I shall see you next time. See you later. Bye.